Hey what's up guys, Kukenji here and this is going to be a tier list for pro clubs positions. This is a sort of continuation of what your pro clubs position says about you and it's going to be sort of meme style video but with some serious talk about pro clubs or just FIFA positions as a whole but mostly based on pro clubs gameplay. So the different tiers we're going to have are going to be S tier, obviously this is going to be the top tier and that is the most necessary positions you need and then we're going to have the second tier after that being a being game winners and savers and then the middle tier with b meh these are the players that are you'd like to have them on your team but you don't really need them so they're kind of expendable expendable i think that's the word but c is going to be bench warmers obviously these players you kind of want to leave on the bench sometimes bring them on every few games but most of the time you're going to leave them on the bench and then finally the bottom tier players the discard or the bottom tier positions i should say are the discard players these positions will probably sabotage you if you don't get them right i've never done a tier list so i'm sorry if this is very scuffed i've also not really done a video like this before so hopefully it isn't too bad but should we start off with any I mean any any has to be unnecessary surely any is just such a key position if you don't have an any it's always going to be a rough time since you're just relying on cpu to control most of your players depending on how many players you play with but if you're playing with three four players most of the time which i feel like is the average team size then playing with the cpu with around what seven cpu is gonna be rough especially if you're playing for a higher division so that's why we're gonna put any in the top tier i've got a co <sighs> sorry i've got a cold right now so my voice is a bit nasally and also i have some phlegm in my throat so it's making it a bit difficult to talk but we move on yeah any we're gonna want in the top tier because a good any is gonna be insanely helpful and can easily win you divisions just by having a good any now of course this goes the other way if you have a bad any oh it's gonna be a rough time you will be struggling if you have a bad any but then i mean if you're worse than the cpu if your any is worse than the cpu then you might as well just stick with the cpu so should we go to cpu next cpu I'm tempted between either meh or discard. Obviously, if you don't have an any, then you have to have CPU. But the CPU can be so infuriating sometimes. Sometimes they can be game winners, but more than often than not, they're meh. They're, they're not bad, but they're not good. And sometimes they can, you know, they can be very bad. So I'm tempted to either go in meh or discard. Which one should we go with? Ah, oh. uh, I think. You know, I've had too I've had too many bad experiences with CPU, so they're going in the D for discards. Now, next we've got strikers. You could say strikers are very necessary. I don't know if they're on the same level as any though. Because I think if you have even you could even have a CPU striker, and if you have a good any, that any will get the CPU striker to score. A striker, I'd say is a game winner, a saver, because you know, strikers are, the, are just there to finish the goals or to finish the chances and outside of that most strikers don't really tend to contribute much especially sometimes with chance creation sometimes you get those strikers that just you know hang on the last man and do nothing sometimes but they can also be very helpful in like running down the line and such so we're going to put strikers in game winners there next we have left wing right wing this is probably going to be a mech position and the reason for that is going to be just you don't really need a winger on FIFA or on pro clubs at least since you can have your strikers run down the line or just any other player just run down the line and kind of become like a, a functional winger but yeah there will be a mech position because they're not really a bench warmer like it's nice to have a winger sometimes because most of the times they tend to be fairly open so it's a nice nice way to switch to play and of course left mid right mid is going to go in there as well as the meh because they are effectively the same position but mm, i know i'll put left wing right wing below left mid right mid because left mid right mid you'd expect to defend at least whereas right wing and left wing don't really tend to defend which can be annoying 
Now centre forward, I mean centre forward, you might as well, uh, it's either mech or bench warmer. I mean centre forward, you might as well just either go as a cam or a striker. That's just like a hybrid position. So I guess you could say game winner savers, but I'm more tempted to put in uh, in bench warmer since most formations tend to not play with a centre forward unless you're using like a 4-3-3 false nine. But I personally don't think that's a very good formation for pro clubs. So next, cam. Cam, I'd say, is necessary instead of game winners or savers. Mostly because cams, they dictate the play, they help, well, if you have a good cam, they should help defend as well, which is going to be very helpful if you only have like a cam as your supporting player. Having a cam makes creating chances so much easily, easier rather, and a good cam will always be able to make chances for even the worst strikers. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Cam as necessary. They're not on the same level as any, but Cam, because they are fairly like box to box, a good Cam at least, they will help in every situation on the pitch. Next we got Centre Mid. Centre Mid, again, like, I'd, yeah, I'd, I would say centre mid is a bit of a mech position. I wouldn't say it's as bad as a, a bench warmer. It's, it's definitely not a game winner or a saver because a CDM would, well, spoilers, CDM I will be putting in the game winners and savers, or more specifically game saver in that situation. But CM, it's nice to have that extra man in midfield, but it's definitely not necessary. So they're gonna go in mech. Next we have CDM and as I just said, they will be going in the game savers. I'd say they're probably on the same level of importance as a striker and CDM, but CDMs are on the same level as a striker because, you know, defending on pro clubs can be very difficult, especially if you don't have any defensive positions already and you're either relying on the CPU or any. Because even for a good any, having like four attackers run at you all at once is very tricky to defend against so we're gonna go with cdm being as a very important position you know give the cdm some credit for all the unsung hero moments that they often have and next we've got center back again center back these positions center back and cdm are kind of interchangeable so if you have one center back then you're not sorted for defensive positions but it's also very helpful so they're also there I'd say they're both equally as important as each other. Likewise with goalkeeper, goalkeeper I'd put on below these two. Goalkeepers sometimes get screwed over by bad animations and also having a bad goalkeeper is, uh, it can happen more often than not. Or even just an AFK goalkeeper. Because if you've got a good team then the goalkeeper most likely won't be doing much so it can be quite boring for them. And they might just go AFK. So goalkeeper, they can be game savers, but more often than not, they, you know, they're they're there for like a backup essentially. Now left back, right back. Again, this is more of a mech position. It's nice to have that extra defensive stability, but it's not really necessary. Left wing back, right wing back. I'd say that's higher up than the left back, right back. Maybe even left back, right back needs to go in bench almost. You know, it makes it makes sense for the left back to be left at the bench sort of joke so uh, we'll keep them in the bench warmers yeah they're not really necessary they're only there for people who get in trouble with their friends and then get sent to the left back right back position and then left forward right forward this this um, you only really use this formation or a formation that uses this position as a 4-3-2-1 so if you want three attackers this is good but even then i wouldn't say game savers or game winners I'd say they're more of a meh position. <coughs> Pardon me. That burp came out of nowhere. But carrying on with the video, left forward, right forward, they are more of a, a meh position. I'll, I'll put them... Ooh, I'll put them in here. Now, I know uh, with left wing back, right wing back, they only get used in the five other back formations. But quite a lot of times you'll come up against five other back. I personally think five other back is the best formation for pro clubs especially if you're playing with an any because the cpu are so unreliable in defense as in their cpu stats always being outpaced by strikers so 
having a five back formation is a lot easier to defend with but yes that's going to be the tier list we've got any and cam as the two very necessary positions because they will have the most influence on the game i'd say and then as your second tier or the a or game winners and savers we've got striker cdm center back all even and then goalkeeper in a lower level i'd say here and then b we've got meh cm lm right mid right mid rm left forward right forward left wing back right wing back and left wing right wing a lot of these positions are kind of the same thing I, i'd say these two are the same level as well as this and then so this will be top these three as the second tier and then that as the last one but yeah these are the positions that are like kind of like a luxury position it's nice to have them but you don't really need them at the end of the day and then see bench warmers as a sent forward you you know either go as a cam or a striker there's not really a need to go as a center forward or use a formation that requires a center forward and then of course left back right back they're, they're probably more important than the bench warmer but just for the memes of left back on the bench we'll have them on the bench warmer category and then cpu and discard because i am salty with how often the cpu will let you down that's gonna be me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for how scuffed this video might have turned out because this is the first time I'm doing a video sort of like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and bye bye.